Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to configure and use Windows Cluster Aware Updating, C, also known as CAU Role. Uh, this uh, new feature was introduced in Windows 2012. In Windows 2003 and 2008, you have to basically uh, find out all the updates on your own in your cluster environment. When you apply those updates, you have to apply one by one. But with this great feature, it'll do most of the work for you and it'll save you tons of time. So uh, in this demo, we'll be learning number one, how to analyze cluster up, uh, updating readiness. This will check your environment, whether your cluster environment is uh, ready to configure cluster where updating role because you do have to configure the role before you can use this number two how to preview updates for existing cluster in this um, what it does is it checks all the updates that uh, is required on all the nodes on your cluster so let's say that if you have four nodes it will check against all four nodes in your cluster and uh, will give you a report that these updates are available for your uh, nodes and th they should be applied to your node you can pick and choose the updates that you wanted to apply if you click on updates which we will see in our demo if you click on those um, updates it'll give you a brief introduction to that up, uh, update as well and it'll tell you that if that update requires a reboot uh, uh, or not number three how to configure cluster self updating options there are two updating options in this uh, uh, role number one is self updating option which means that uh, um, one of your node um, in your cluster environment will act as a update coordinator so that will make sure that all the updates are applied to every node in your cluster environment and the other option is remote update option um, in in the CAU role so remote is that uh, uh, the there is a remote server that will coordinate all the updates in your cluster environment number four how to apply updates to cluster once it brings um, all the updates for your cluster environment you can basically you have an option to click on apply uh, updates at that time or you can schedule the updates for later on for your whole cluster environment and that saves a lot of time because you can go ahead and you don't have to sit down and apply one by one on your cluster environment you can just go ahead and schedule it and uh, all you need to do is just um, uh, put the communication out that your cluster is going to be updated and it's going to be um, it's going to be uh, restarted or uh, roles are going to move uh, the most um, brilliant thing about this um, cluster where updating feature is that your service availability is is uh, high so um, this is that's why this um, this is one of my favorite feature in Windows 2012 and um, <clears throat> number five how to enable or disable cluster self updating options once you have configured self updating uh, I'll show you that you can't select in the beginning that you wanted a self updating option but you can later on you can disable that self uh, updating option but uh, you can use it one time and disable it you can en enable it anytime again uh, number six how to generate CAU reports for the past runs what happened is that uh, once you uh, have done cluster where once you have used CAU role and uh, all the if you wanted to look at the past reports it'll uh, basically generate a report and you can share it with your team or the management number seven how to create or modify updating run profile you have to create a profile if you wanted to uh, uh, schedule the uh, uh, self um, cluster aware self uh, updating so once you do that you can always basically go in in your in that profile and change the schedule or anything else you wanted to change so um, these are the things that we will learn in this demo so let's go ahead and let me give you an introduction of my uh, cluster uh, environment before we go ahead and do that Let's quickly cover what will Windows Cluster where updating CAU role do automatically for us. Number one, it downloads all the updates on all the nodes in your cluster environment. Number two, put the node in maintenance mode. What it does is picks one node and put that node in maintenance mode in order to avoid any unnecessary alerts. Number three, it moves all the resources from updating nodes to other nodes so that it can go ahead and update that particular node. Number four, it install all the updates uh, automatically. Number five, it restart the node if required. Uh, when I say if required, if any update that it has installed that requires the reboot of that particular node, it's going to go ahead and do that for you. Number six, it, after uh, its update is completed on that particular node, 
all the resources that it moved, failed over to other nodes, it's going to bring those uh, resources back to that uh, particular node. Number seven, it proceeds to the next node. I just thought that uh, I'll uh, quickly cover that before we get into my environment. So now let's go ahead and take a look in my environment.